Hi, we have understood so far what function is and how we can write a function by passing parameters and how we can get the return value from the function. Okay, so this is the simple function that we have already understood. This function is calculating the simple interest uh, if we supply the principal rate and time and it's going to return back the interest calculated to the caller. Okay, this is basically called the function definition where we write the return type, the name of the function, and the parameters that we pass to the function along with the block of code that is going to be executed when the function is called. Now, the compiler, when compiles this source code, starts compiling from the very first line, that means from this line. And the compiler finds this definition of the function and compiles this. Now, when the calling of the function is encountered by the compiler, that is at line number 12 in this case, Compiler, since already compiled the definition of get simple interest, compiler understands this calling and resolves the calling by writing proper code in order to call the function in runtime. Compiler writes all the necessary instructions that should be executed in order to call the function effectively in runtime by the operating system. But if the definition of the function is given later on, that means after the call, Say I'm giving it, moving it to the bottom of the source code. Now here is the calling of the function, but the function definition is provided at the bottom here after the calling. So in this case, the compiler may generate warning and then as a consequence, it may generate error as well. So this kind of programming is not safe. When the compiler com comes to this line, in this case, compiler doesn't understand what is the return type of get simple interest? What are the parameters that the get simple interest is supposed to receive? Because this is the calling point. A client can call the function by assuming anything. So compiler becomes confused and the consequences can be worst. Your file may fail to compile. Okay, so to do away with this in order to instruct or provide hints to the compiler that what this function actually receives and what are the what is the return type of this function we can declare the function before using the function that means before calling the function so the function declaration goes in this way get first of all the return type of the function that then the name of the function and then comes the data type of the parameters that the function receives so this is called the function prototype declaration and this is required whenever we are uh, calling a function we need to make sure that the prototype is available to the compiler for compiling this call so if the definition is given prior to the call then the compiler gets to know the declaration by default but if the definition is not given prior to the call as in this case we need to provide the declaration in any way let me now give you the idea of header files we have in our program included these header files from the very beginning. Now what this header file stdio.h contains? Now the hash instruction, this instructs the compiler to include this file prior to the compiling. These are called preprocessor directives. Uh, whenever the compiler compiles this program and it encounters instructions that is starting with hash, compiler understands that it's an instruction to the compiler itself. So the include instruction or the command instructs the compiler to include this file. So the compiler includes this file totally with this source code and then it starts the compilation. Okay, now what this stdio.h contains? It contains the declaration or the prototype declaration to be specific of all the library functions that involves in a standard input output operation. That means we have used here printf, as you can see that we have used printf here. And if we had not given this here, then compiler would become confused while compiling this particular call to the printf because compiler doesn't understand what printf is. Now, compiler does not include the library. The language library is something different. That's not uh, within the compiler. Compiler only understands the what are the keywords, what are the meaning of keywords, what are the meaning of operators, but the language library is not within the compiler. That's separate thing that is supplied with the compiler, but that is not part of the compiler. So 
when the compiler comes at this particular point at line number 9 and it gets a call to the printf function it doesn't understand what printf is so we need to provide the declaration of the printf we could have written the declaration of the printf directly here at the beginning of the program as we did in case of our own get simple interest but we need to know what the declaration of the printf is for that so that's going to be uh, cumbersome a bit but it's not impossible so just in order to make our life easier the framework is that they have given declaration of the library functions all the declaration of the standard input output library functions in a particular header file and that is called stdr.h and what we do in our program we instruct the compiler to include the header file that contains the declaration of the function that we have used in our program so we write the hash include stdio.h now what the compiler does it finds the include command and includes the stdio.h header file with this particular program and when the compiler comes here at line number 9 it can understand now what printf is because it has already compiled the declaration that was given in stdio.h so if we need to distribute our own function uh, by creating a library of our own then we can do that and in that case we would require to build our own header files that are going to contain the declaration of the functions that we are putting in our own library so we'll be doing that thing in the very next example where I'm going to show you how we can build our own C library and we can plug in that library in some other program. Thank you very much.